Going on well, welcome back to the channel. This is Locals Only episode two. It's with Dan the Thames Warrior. He runs fully guided boat fishing trips on the River Thames. He's a long time boat user on the river. He catches loads of carp. I met up with him at the start of the season, picked his brains and got an insight on how he goes about his fishing. So yeah, sit back, enjoy. This is Locals Only episode two with Dan the Thames Warrior. Now we've got jet skis smashing it through your swim. Thanks, lads. And that's what you got to part with on the river. It's getting harder and harder to fish. The banks, the boats, the people. The snags. It's just part of part of the river and really the challenge is what makes it worth it. One time me and my mate were here, just parked up, chilling out, trying to get out the sun, parked in the in, in the uh, snags, and the next thing we know, we got two or three commons, nothing major, you know, 10, 12 pounders, probably cricket back commons, but just be able to watch him getting up that close. You don't get that nothing nowhere else apart from on the river. You know, you can join these lakes, but everyone's seen them, everyone knows the fish, and at the end of the day, everyone knows everything. So on this river, you don't know whether it's gonna be a bream or a fish of a lifetime. Give it five minutes and uh, off we go. Fingers crossed, tonight's the night. We're gonna bag a big Thames warrior. We'll be happy with a small one because any fish is worth anything, mate. Be fucking powers, we'll see. But we ain't gonna move tonight, we're gonna sit out, we're just gonna ride the spot. Recently we've had a lot of high pressure, no rain, no wind, it's been a good stuff. So now the weather's changed, we've got rain, it's misty, the river's pushing a little bit, we've had a hell of a lot of rain today, so fingers crossed this spot's gonna produce. Now is actually a hook point. So, are you fishing in the right area? And that's a pop up off the bottom. So, shows what you're up against on this river. Just a lead wrapped in a crave paste. Uh, gonna go and hand drop it now, and then that's it for the night. Ten pound milder. When uh, you fish the same as everyone else, and do the same as everyone else, you catch the same as everyone else. So if you do your own thing, get on your own journey, which I've done. And now this is a warrior journey. It's never going to end because this river, you ain't got enough time in your life to f finish it. A lot come. And they look leave without a fish, let alone seeing one on the bank. But patience is the key. All people say, you know, oh, how do I catch one? How do I catch one? Go out there and fish because time is the biggest edge that anyone can get. Because the more time you're on the bank, the more chance you got. I've had some of my biggest fish in the winter and that even shocked me but from then on i started to catch in the colder months there isn't a carp i ain't had in any month of the year you know it's taken a long time but from january to december i've had a fish every month you know in the warmer months it's easier but in the winter they mean 10 times more the river is a bit like a jigsaw when you first start you don't know what piece does this what piece goes there, try and find the coolers and wait your way in. This is what you come here for. Fully scaled mirrors, under 20 pound. But when they look like this, who's complaining? Locals only, episode two, Thames Warriors style. 
in the game. Well, this is Sam's Warrior, I'm off to work and I'll see you soon. Down then, Thames, right? We are heading down to one of my spots. If you're lucky, you might get a quick fish within an hour. So, hopefully, we're going to go there, put a little bit of bait up, little bags, bright pop ups, sit them there, and hopefully, within an hour or something, if we ain't had nothing, then we need to be moving. Early on, we're going to go and uh, a lot of success. I worked out where the fish were, come down, a bit of pre-baiting, not loads, because if you know where they are, you'll catch them. I had a 32 pound common, which you can ask any more than that at the beginning of the season. I had a 25, 26 pound mirror, uh, the recapture of a lovely, long, dark, Warrior of a fish. So all I say. Right, just pulled up as quiet as possible. Spots, spots bubbling. Small stuff about, but 10, 20 boilies, three rods. We're rolling. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put the last big leads on because we don't want to uh, prick it. We want to nail it. So I wouldn't think nothing of using a 7 8 ounce lead. But with a bag, distance, this is what I mean about powerful rods. You can have cheap reels, but you can't have cheap rods. The key is to be prepared because if your head's not clean and the tackle's not tidy, you're going to be a mess and you can get down there and it's just going to be a nightmare. If you go ready, so you don't have to think about anything, have all your rigs tied, fresh, everything. So it's all a uh, nice easy journey and fishing should be relaxing and nice because if you're always looking for stuff and haven't got it organised, your fishing will be unorganised and you might experience clean and tidy tackle box, clean and tidy mind. Morning, on the way to work, lost the fish. Had a breathe, the other rod was quiet, so I've had a bite, which I've lost, breathe, it's nothing to write home about. Move on that, put some bait out, and I'll be back on the spot soon. Sometimes in the morning, you get to see some lovely sunrises. If you look at something like this, you don't get to see this every day. We've just seen the kingfisher flying around the weir as we're passing. Look. He wants something like that every day. Tim's Rare PB TV, take one. Okay, it's full moon, harvest moon, so they say. Well, I've never had a big carp on a harvest moon. Later on that evening, a mate of mine, he's like, you out fishing, bro? He said, it's harvest moon, with an emoji, like rubbing your hands together, saying like it's gonna be a big one. And I said, nah, mate, I don't really feel it, bruv. Sort of thing, I never have clear sky, you know massive moon not really good for a bite in my opinion so we got all the rods out put a scatter in the bait over the three rods tiny little pva bag and off we cast it i would never fished here before and i thought i put one in the, this margin close to the boat one in the middle and one to the far margin so covering the whole entrance to where i was fishing all three rods went out lovely drop set the alarms back leads and i was ready for the night then I was awoken four o'clock in the morning to my rod melting off, the pod going over. I've jumped out of bed, I'm onto something. All I can feel is <laughs> rod's just ripping off. Next thing, I'm trying to find the head torch. The head torch is inside the boat like an idiot. So I've got to hold the rod with one hand, zipping off four o'clock in the morning, pitch black with the right hand in the boat, fiddling around the head torch. Luckily I find it, get the head torch on, start to see what's going on a bit. I realise I'm connected to something which has took a hell of a lot of line and back we're into the fish. 
The fire's frantic. It gets close to the boat. I can see it's a chunk. Then my heart's just like boom, boom, boom. Don't fuck this up, Tim. Sorry. Don't fuck this up. Start playing him. He's trying to go under the boat. It's like bullying, bullying. By then, my pal is somehow woken up and heard my alarm and the commotion. He's jumped onto the boat within about a minute later. We've got my PB fish, which I knew it was just by the sheer size of it, in the net. And uh, from then on, I could just feel the buzz and like, fucking get in, fucking get in there. We got it, yeah? You know, all of the, the blanking, all of the hard work to have a chunk like that in your net. That's what you call warrior stuff. 35 pound, two ounce, absolute, immaculate, pristine, historic River Thames Cup. Thanks for watching. So there we go, that brings the video into a close. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel for more fishing videos. We've got loads coming up in this new year. And yeah, if you want to see Dan again, drop a comment down below and we'll see you in the next one.